Hey everybody, this is Rido, and we are back with another recording of Rise of the Tomb Raider. So we're doing this optional puzzle in the middle of going down the path to the Baba Yaga uh, DLC, which I assume now since this is an optional puzzle, we would have. They been say in you this never forget the first time regardless. you hear the sound. My parents took me here to contemplate the mysteries from beyond the shrine. In time, I will bring my children here. They say that without the music of the mountains, our ancestors would have wandered the earth until they died. But instead, these mountains called them home, just as it calls to me. Still very much a terrible concept to, to make me pause the I game. I should be able to connect that counterweight to the winch. Like. Ideally, I should be able to pick up those items and then just start listening to it. Uh, even if they just put an animation where she's holding a scroll in front of her face as she's talking and reading it aloud, that would be fine. Or, you know, if you just wanted to do a ghost-like system. Hmm. This is interesting. Exactly certain what's what the point of all of this is. I I think I get it. Maybe I could swing it somehow. And this area I assume was not visible from the other side. So I should be able to raise this. Yes, that looks better. And I think I'm done. So what button? I hit B. No button prompt for canceling. So you had to raise it specifically to just allow you the opportunity to to get to this point. And now this is simply going to be a matter of as soon as the wind is gone, I'm going to hit X to release it. And it's not going to work. Got to time that a bit better. Hmm. Oh, that, it is a little bit more complicated. So it seems about four or five seconds. Seems like I pro it, the wind blows long enough that I can just wait till it starts blowing and then hit X. Got it. Now to open the door. So now I've freed this counter. Wait. Honestly, they should have done something here. <laughs> Either make the hallway more narrow so that it looks realistic, or just let her run through it like she just did. <laughs> Look, I just glitched her body and it looked perfectly fine to run right through there. Because she's not that big of a person. Uh, And I'm going counterclockwise, and that's not working, so it's not working. And see, you never get like a click or anything. Maybe there was ice or water here that could have caused that. And they clicked. 
this, and we open this again. Easy combination puzzle lock would be great. <laughs> it's a codex. This one is a series of meditations on willpower. If critical energy injuries are sustained in battle indicated by the screen turn gray, health will be automatically restored. Does any instant re regeneration of health will only occur one time per combat encounter and refresh between encounters. So, that was another tomb. And, boy was that not much. Particularly when it's effectively giving you a, a second second attempt at every battle. The Wicked Veil isn't far now. Just head down that wooden walkway along the cliff. How does she know where I am? Is she watching me? Um. Explore Satchel. We need to get this relic and this other item. Ceremonial cloth worn by priests during mass. Hmm. Nothing else special about it. And you would think that maybe these 3D items are uh, custom or not custom made things, or they're, they're animations that would be used in other Square Enix games. And maybe they are, <laughs> but maybe they aren't. A lot of it seems pretty custom to me. You may, it may be that some of the items we see as 3D items get used in very, uh, very small ways in other parts of the game, or at least they were intended to be used. I assume this is a jump, and if it's a long jump, it will have an X next to it. There's a small camp here. Sounds like Grandpa made it that far at least. You're almost into the veil. So we're looking for this girl's grandfather. And Ooh. I wasn't expecting this to link and connect to this. And so now I've missed like I not for a second did I think I was gonna end up here. Alright, well I guess we're moving the main storyline along. Whether we wanted to or not. So the only difference between doing this and and with and without the Baba Yaga DLC is that you would, you would have little reason to go this direction, other than I'm sure there would have been a long list of pointers where the Baba Yaga pointers are that would have just been mission pointers. There's a thing up there, but I don't see how I would be able to get up there. Maybe. No, that's still still too high up. So that tells me that there's probably a, a secondary way around. I doubt I could make that jump. Hmm. That was very janky. Hmm. Nadia, I think I found your wicked veil. I don't know if it's Baba Yaga, but there's something out here. Be careful. This is her land. Hmm. Well, this... Now, wait a minute. Now I've changed from being here. I'm in a completely different section. Okay. This game keeps throwing me th for a loop. Like, this entire section seems like it's... 
It's DLC land. Nadia, my granddaughter. By now you already know. I am going into the Vale to kill the witch, Baba Yaga. I have gone to seek revenge for your grandmother. There are newcomers in our valley, armed men arriving in helicopters. I do not know what they want, but I know if I am to go, this is my last chance. You deserve to know the truth, to know why. Your grandpa is not a wise man. I have become, with hard work, a good man for your grandmother's sake. But it was not always so. I came from the West, where even a small village has thousands of inhabitants. I was a lazy young man, and I dreamed of an easy life when I joined the party. A comfortable desk in the big city. But they sent me here, to the ends of the earth, to watch men and women work and starve and die, to participate in their punishment. I knew it was evil, but I did not know how to fight until I met her. So the grandfather was a Soviet Russian guy. Let's see, this way seems like Seems like it's blocked off for the time being. Interesting. Let's go here and see if there's anything we can upgrade. Nope. But we now have a fast travel spot. And so forward we go. And we will hear the story. Initial contact was made with the elderly native male at 0700. At first, we believed he was participating in an assault on the facility, but he proceeded away and through an unmapped canyon. We received authorization to pursue at a distance, and already we've encountered ruins and other promising signs. We're trying to keep calm out here, that this looks like a big find. That discovery bonus is as good as ours. I... I'm really confused as far as how much of this you could have done without the Baba Yaga DLC. Any of it? Or maybe the Baba Yaga <coughs> DLC added... There's some sort of pollen drifting here. Flowers. What did you say? What did you say? I, I can't understand you. I mean, you. Something's wrong. My head is spinning and... Oh no. Oh no. It's... It's... <laughs> no, must be dreaming. Is it real? I can't be. So these guys are looking at me. So this is how it's gonna play out. I'm just gonna be dreaming the whole time. Just keep moving. Here's a question. I am here, and we're chasing this part, so, and I can't activate my senses, so that tells me there's probably not any collectibles to find. <laughs> Laura, Laura. Dad? No, it can't be. No, wait. So I'm not going to pause this, let's just go through it as it should best be experienced. I'm close, Laura. I'm close, Laura. I'm close. Wait, where am I? How, how far does this path go? I seem to be going in circles. It's not real. Not him. Dad, stop! Please don't! to get out of here and I instinctively pressed X and nothing happened also the right trigger and left trigger aren't doing anything there is a truth behind all I just want to leave please how far are we now yeah this whole 
area seems like I'm just walking in a changing map. So you can't really even trust anything this map showing. No, no, this isn't. Is this her house or was that? We've gone full horror game now, instead of action adventure game. I don't mind a sequence like this, but it can get rather cliche and repetitive. But... Someday, someday, someday. You'll understand, you'll understand, you'll understand. Who are you? Come and see. So where are we now? We're back on the path. Maybe Baba Yaga is the girl that we saved before. Uh, am I back to the point where I can actually play the game? Hit the wrong button. up a ridiculous amount of water. I think. What happened? You started coughing, said something about flowers and pollen, and then nothing. I thought the witch had killed you. I think I was hallucinating. God, I hope I was. Hallucinating? There, there is a flower in a valley that can bring on visions, but the effects are too weak. Any idea what this place is? I see ducks and pipes. Soviet from the looks of it. It has to be the outpost the Soviets built to study the ruins. My grandmother was a scholar and they brought her here to help with her research, but that was the last time Grandpa ever saw her. There was only one survivor, an officer who stumbled out a few weeks later. He said the witch made them do things. So 
so there goes a bunch of my resources to refill those arrows. And now we are here. So maybe the Soviets poisoned the water and that caused me to hallucinate. It would seem a little short if this is all of the Baba Yaga expansion, but we also are kind of in a weird position because we've already been, we've already encountered Baba Yaga once, unless we find out that there is a different encounter. I'm looking down here, and I don't think this game even has a system for diving. B goes down, goes faster. X and Y seems to do nothing. So, yeah. Ironically, if you couldn't do the wall climbing section here, I think you'd probably be stuck and unable to do anything else at point well. But I imagine that's going to be the case in several places that would just never, they, nobody would even care because if you can't play the game, you can't play the game at, at a certain point. There's something to collect. The question is how can we get to it? Don't die. I suppose that's the good news. But I am going to have to make an attempt at a longer jump than <coughs> normal. I suppose it's very possible that you would never find a map in an area or enough maps as it seems to work out that way and then there would be collectibles in other sections it's, it's gotta be something like a wall some kind of swing. This seems too too specifically placed for that to not be some kind of swing thing. Swing ability. And nothing else makes any sense. I never held my daughter. They took her from me on the surgeon's table. I tried to fight, but they are many, and I am weary. Then they dragged me away, split our three hearts apart. 
They have taken me to a hidden vale where ancient ruins stand. They tell me if I cooperate, I will see my family again. I will never trust these monsters, but I do not have a better plan. There are curious flowers here. Exposure to the pollen has left my captors rattled, and they will go no further than our little outpost. They brought me here in the hopes that my expertise in botany would help them find a counteragent. <laughs> At last, the state has a use for me. I nod and smile. I play the part, but they cannot break me again. For my daughter, for Ivan, I will live. So, there's a heavy indication here that Baba Yaga might very well just be the grandmother. Someone's been in here, recently, building on top of the ruins. What do you see? Some sort of makeshift distillery. It smells just like the flowers. Shit! Of course! She's refining the pollen, weaponizing it. There's no magic here, Nadia, just someone very clever. Wait, but if it is just a person, then wouldn't the pollen affect her too? If she can resist it somehow, then so can we. Is the first flame. What does this do? That releases that down Do I need it to be on fire, or do I need it to be just swimming? I suppose I just needed it to swim. Puzzle solved. Collectible, however, not collected. Hopefully it's not important. There's a lot of documents, a lot of survival caches, and one challenge and one relic in this area. And this clearly feels like the time I should have done this. The game sort of pushed me into it. It's been weeks since these bastards dragged me from the Gulag, from Ivan and my daughter, to this strange vale. They have tasked me with finding some way of counteracting the unusual effects of the pollen that hangs in the air. Now I believe I have a formula that may work. An extract from the seed pods of the plant, the liver of animals that consume the flowers and have metabolized the toxins, a phenothiazine derivative. The last ingredient is a risk. They have it in large quantities around the Gulag, where it is used as an insecticide. It may also act as a rudimentary antipsychotic, bearing a chemical similarity to other compounds I have studied. Or it may be poisonous. I will try the mixture on myself tonight. So it seems like it probably drove her crazy. I found something. One of the prisoners wrote down a formula that might counteract the effects of the pollen. It has to be for my grandmother. The witch killed her and now she's going to help save Grandpa, just like in one of his stories. Uh, Nadia. Have faith, Lara. Hop back to the Soviet installation where we met. I'll help you find what you need. So, we've got to come all the way back to this area. And I guess for just storyline reasons, let's not fast travel. I don't have the words to describe what I just saw. I 
I went inside the wicked veil looking for Nadia's grandfather. I barely escaped with my life. It was like a fairy tale with a broken, filthy mirror. And Dad, I know intellectually it was all in my mind, but the gunshot is still ringing in my ears. There's something terrible going on in there, and while I don't believe that it is magic, it is extraordinary. I have to find out what's behind all this, but first, I have to find a way to see clearly. Hmm. And you can see I need to do some major hunting now for paper and pelts. Uh, so going back to the main area does make all the sense in the world. Access to fast travel. Travel between the Wicked Vale and the Silver Vale. Installation. But why would I do that when I can just awkwardly jump and walk away? There's still... This is wrong. I must be under the ground. So maybe there's a different way you from the that you could enter this section from above. So you would think that maybe this would be a quick travel area also. this direction. The main reason I wanted to, to go through there, almost fell to my death, is because I would like to be certain of where this is and go towards that. I shouldn't shoot that just because that there's a high chance of missing. Hmm. So, in future instances, I will just fast travel through this area, but in this one case, I want to collect this. We are back in the main area. And when we look at that, there's one more tomb to complete. There's a finished uh, communications bro bro breakdown challenge that I need to go turn in. The main story is still got something to do. Let's see, there's four more missions in the area, two more challenges. Uh, a ton more strong boxes, one more crypt treasure. Uh, I wonder how we keep that. We need that lock pick still. <laughs> wow, ten more documents, five more murals, ton of survival caches, and eight more coins to collect. And so there's just a lot of work to do. Apparently, there's also a mission I can go pick up. So I want to try and stay in this area at, even as I'm collecting the Baba Yaga stuff. Eventually I will want to stop doing the Baba Yaga stuff for a little bit and, and move the story forward. But I think that's working fine too. Now storyline wise, we shouldn't have done anything. So... In this 30 minutes, it should still say 25% complete. If it doesn't, that means that the DLC rebalanced what a percentage complete meant. And that would be weird. But it didn't. Nope, we are still at 25% complete. And that is okay with me and totally expected. That's going to be it for this recording. As always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe comment and watch every second of my videos 
if you want a friend or follow me on basically any social media sites, there's a whole bunch of links down below. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.